Hey guys, it's Kristen live here again and today I'm doing something new uh, filming wise and I am actually using the mirror for you guys to see my face because I'm in my guest bathroom and it's incredibly small for filming at least. So um, the camera won't fit in here with my tripod um, where you can actually see me and what I'm doing because today is going to be a curly hair tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you, right now I have a coconut oil homemade mask on. So I'm going to pull that down, show you what craziness my hair looks like, and then I'm going to walk you through um, what I use for shampoo and conditioner and the products that I put in afterwards and uh, how I style it and keep my curls healthy and long-lasting as well as moisturized and um, just uh, growing. I'm always trying to grow them, but you always make sure that you still do your trims and your cuts because especially with curly hair and a porosity as I have, which is a 2C from what I've gathered, um, it you definitely it requires some work, but it can be done, ladies. It can be done, so without further ado, here we go. Barely combed out. I'm going to use my Shia Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk for thick curly hair. Um, I don't know if that means it's for thick and curly hair or to make your hair thick and curly, but either way, I love it. It's got uh, silk proteins, neem oil, and obviously coconut and hibiscus, and it's for anti-frizz, moisture, and shine. So this is the first one that I put on. And um, if you guys ever get a minute and you're interested in it, you should read the story because it's um, um, really, really special. And being that it's Mother's Day, I thought it was really cool to make sure that I, and I'm not promoted by them or, you know, no paid advertising. I just, I think it's a really cool story. Um, it was a widowed mom and she ended up turning nothing into an empire. So y'all have to read about it or go buy the product if you like it. So anyway, let, whoa. She got a little crazy there, a little cray cray. Okay, so <clears throat> that's about how much I put in. I don't know if you can see in the mirror, but at this point I no longer comb or brush my hair. Like this is it. Once it starts to dry, um, you will lose your coral pattern if you try to brush or comb it again. And especially if you don't have super curly hair like I do and you just have like a tight wave, that's the last thing you want to do. Now if you have a coil in your hair and you want to elongate it a little bit, then, you know, that, that's fine. That's, that's a whole different story, as I like to say. So, alright. I like to just use my fingers and kind of just make sure that the roots are not stuck to the scalp so that it dries quicker because uh, you really want to keep heat off of it as long as possible. And in Florida, it does one of two things. It either dries really quick and goes whoa and grows or it stays wet all day and just kind of falls limp and like sticks to your head. So I always like to just make sure I use my fingers and not a towel because the cotton and the pilling, the pile of the towel will actually make your hair frizzy, give you split ends, and it's just not good for it. So um, I do have a turvy twist and I also have one of those absorbent microfiber towels, which are really great. Um, but it's laundry day and they're not clean, nor can I find them. So they're probably at the bottom of the laundry pile, which I wasn't going to dig out today. It's Mother's Day. It's my day to chill. So, All right, so now that we got that in there pretty good, I've had to turn this upside down because I'm almost out, and it's my favorite product ever. Chi infusion. Um, <clears throat> silk infusion, you always want to do the oil last. Because if you do the oil first, none of your other products going to get into the hair cuticle. This kind of seals it, so this is always the last product you use. So I always start at the bottom to make sure it gets the most of it. That way I'm not making my roots look too shiny or oily. 
And then once I've really got it into the majority, 50 to 75 percent of my hair, then I'll finish it off with just a little bit through my roots. So we'll make sure we get that in really good. Do lots of crunching and crimping and scrunching. And just try to keep that curl pattern as much as you can. And then my final one, I just kind of rub it through the roots just so it's conditioned and pretty and silky. But if you do that first, you'll just end up with a whole mess on your head. Okay. And yes, I'll probably fast forward this and make it go quicker because everyone's going to get bored and go, okay, we got it. You're scrunching your hair. Move on. Sorry. I'm excited. Anyway, yay, happy Mother's Day to me. Okay, so um, we're going to blow dry. First, now that it has started to dry a little bit, I am going to put in Joyco K-Pack Reconstruct Leave-In Protectant, which I consider a leave-in conditioner which I love, and it's like 10 bucks, I think, so pretty good deal. So anyway, I just grab a few of this, and because I have pretty porous um, hair, a very high porosity, which is not a good thing, um, it's always good to add organic, you know, sulfate-free leave-in conditioners, kind of as it dries, so that um, it tries to close the cuticle and prevent split ends and keep your hair shiny. So <clears throat> we'll go ahead and, and I don't blow dry it all the way dry. I just blow dry kind of the roots and just give it a little bit of lift and then I let the rest dry on its own because that is healthier. And Lord knows I need anything healthy or helpful for this hair. So. three or four minutes but um, I don't know what it's gonna look like in the video because I'll probably fast forward it so I don't bore you guys now um, I'm not really sure if this is healthy for your hair it's John Frieda's dream curls curl perfecting spray um, however it has glycerin and a bunch of ingredients I can't read which usually means it's probably not so good for you but um, I like it as like a finishing hairspray and I don't do the whole head but like the ends that usually like frizz up or start to split when the humidity is high. Um, this kind of helps out so I'll have to do some research. If you guys know anything about this product or if you have a suggestion for a better product that does the same thing please let me know. But like I said I don't use much. I just kind of put it on the ends just a little bit here and there instead of a hairspray just to kind of set in the curl before I go out in that crazy humidity. So I'm just gonna go ahead and for one more minute, do this.
and oh. Okay. I had to Google it and watch YouTube videos, so I'm thinking this is like a 2C. If y'all think differently or know what the hell, I mean, excuse me. If y'all know what the heck I'm talking about, you probably know more than I do. Can you give me an idea of what I got going on here? i uh, much appreciate it. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm going to let this finish drying. Then when it's dry, I may add a little bit more of the um, leave-in conditioner just to get rid of the flyaways. And that's about it, folks. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, I hope you keep following me on my hair journey, and I hope you have a fabulous Mother's Day. Bye, guys.